objective reality is not as objective as we think. It's also not our own creation. And I don't mean to be like philosophically bypassing horrible things that are being done by actual human beings to children, to nations, to forests, to anybody who gets in the way of the program of dominance and power and profit. And that is not the only lens through which to see things. Because there are people doing amazing things, beautiful things, restorative things, regenerative things all over the world. So however powerful these shadowy forces are, their power is not absolute. And when we fall too deeply into the narrative, into the mythology of them, we lose our power and we become paralyzed which means that that narrative is itself part of the control system. And there's a deep paradox here that the way that one of the ways that the shadowy power elite maintains its power is by disseminating the idea that they exist and that they are powerful. But when you come to your senses, you realize that there are other powers at work in this world that are not subject to the kinds of control that those who are inebriated with power believe in. And these other kinds of power come from the intelligence of all things, the intelligence that is beyond the human, that manifests as synchronicity, that is invoked through morphic resonance and through the prayers of our actions that generate a field like the uh, protective presence people in Palestine, people doing these humble acts of service, doctors who stay in the hospital when it's being bombarded because the patients can't move, so they stay. Maybe they die and no one even knows. How did that help the world? It did. No action is wasted. No act of beauty and generosity and courage is ever in vain. And you know that what I'm saying is true. When we lose sight of that truth, then, as I do sometimes, then we're not in reality anymore. And it's that kind of truth that we need to develop a strong connection to in times of tur turbulence and turmoil and chaos and breakdown. Because what else will we have to navigate by when the systems that told us what is impactful and what is meaningful and what is going to help the world and what is going to create change are obliterated and we don't know what to do. We need something else to hold us.